Fountain's boyhood home is one step closer to gaining an official historic designation. It's a story we've been following for more than a year now. Paul Murphy was there at today's meeting as the home near Bayou St. John was nominated for landmark status. This modest home in the 800 block of North White Street is where the late Pete Fountain blew the first notes on his clarinet. The 10 year old Pete posed for a picture in front of the house holding the instrument dressed in a McDonough 28 uniform. Wednesday, Fountain's family was in the audience as the New Orleans Historic Landmarks Commission considered a request to nominate the home as a historic landmark. As the childhood home of Pete Fountain, who doesn't love Pete Fountain? I mean, <laughs> you gotta love him. Fountain's son-in-law, Benny Harrell, told the commission how much the Creole French frame double and the Bayou St. John neighborhood meant to the famous musician. Pete's whole personality was developed from this neighborhood, from his New Orleans accent, some would say he was a New Orleans character, to the love of the people in New Orleans. Over the years, Fountain's childhood home has fallen into disrepair. Being nominated for landmark status would give the property certain protections, including commission review over exterior alterations and any demolition. After Katrina, a lot of the columns were stolen around here. Dominic Myers lives down the street from the home. I'm a definitely a fellow musician. I play trombone at McDonald 28 to St. Aug. I wrote a lot of second line music. So I think it's imperative that we definitely do uh, preserve the culture for the next generation. All those in favor? After a short discussion, the HDLC unanimously approved the nomination. Fountain's wife of 65 years, Beverly, thank commission members for their support. It's been think? seven years, you know, since Pete's gone, but uh, miss him every day. And um, I hope this goes through because I, I think I know him very well and I can see a big smile on his face. The commission will now give the property further study before considering permanent landmark status. Paul Murphy, Eyewitness News.